Hey, what's up, cutie people? Finally, a summer day, proper one, 29 degrees, kind of hot. Free afternoon, so I was thinking to draw plein air and to bring you with me in this session. So let's try to find some nice place to draw. It's 5.30 right now, in the afternoon, and I think I could manage to do it in uh, maybe two hours, two hours and a half. First, I need to do a couple of commissions too. And then we go to a green area in the nearby. It's kind of a forest or a small one. I could find some nice spots. So first of all I need to, to pick up a package from Dia Hell. So you can basically wow, well, that's not nice. You can basically scan your QR code and get the package. So this should be the lamp for the studio at home I have. Should be more natural light lamps. Let's see. And then I need to go to the pharmacy because I'm a kind of a young guy trapped in the body of an old one. So I need some drugs. So I forgot to take the picnic blanket with me. I came back and I can change the light source. Let's see how it looked like. So this is the old one and this is the new one. Let's compare it with colors. This is the old one. And this is the new one. It's much brighter and of course cooler than the first one because it's 5000 Kelvin instead of uh, 4000. Yeah, but now I better go. guys so the place is this it kind of look like a grid so there is no uh, reference point it's very easy to get lost in it so I think I'm gonna just take one way and uh, look for a nice spot to sit and draw start painting uh, would not be that easy because uh, it's all forest in here looks kind of like a beginning of a horror movie scene the light is great over here small tent made of uh, the woods so I found the spot let's see I won't lie, I choose this place because there is a nice table, even if it's for kids. My back will say thanks a lot later. And plus there is also a small fountain over there. Of course, it's full of mosquitoes. So I'm not sure if I can stay here that long, if I'm gonna survive in this place, but I would like to, to paint is this one. So the bike in the middle, this kind of trees on the right and uh, this small path in the woods. So let's have a look to what I took with me. I have a tripod for the camera. I have this uh, originally a uh, cappuccino coffee cup but I use it for water I have this uh, mix of schminke and rosa watercolor set sponge 
Academy Bauhong pad. So it's glue all over. That means I don't need any tape. It's very convenient to paint uh, plein air. And then I have a spray and some uh, water brush, a pen and a travel brush with me. So let's start guys. Relax, and there is some guys here with uh, disco house music. <laughs> Terrible. All right, so I made a sketch. I focus on the main subject here. I think the main actor it would be the bike. It's the the one more contrasted on the overall green background uh, I want to highlight the difference in the green because of the light so here would be much more yellow and bright compared to the ground so I want to show the the shadow projection if I manage with the timing because now the light is pretty good this branch here would be a bit more uh, on the foreground and uh, some some branches coming from the right side I want to go for a, a basic wash with some green and some uh, yellow in the overall painting. I will use this uh, big flat brush. What happened to my hands? I don't know. So the disco music in the forest is finally giving us a break. Thanks God. Let's see what kind of greens I have in this palette. Ah, insects. This one is from uh, Rosa Ukraina. And then I have this turquoise over here. From Rosa Ukraina. Then I have some yellow from uh, Academy uh, Schminke. And some green as well. So I think I will use all of them. Maybe some red also. Let's start. Spray again a bit and let's see what happens. So I try to use this turquoise in the more cool areas, so on the shadows and so on. I like how bright this mixture of yellow and green from uh, Academy Schminke is. It's very bright. It's perfect for the light parts over here. I also want to try to keep some white of the paper. I need to be quick because it's so hot today. But it's also you know, quite humid here, so maybe it's not drying that fast. Some more green, dark one. Over here as well. And I try to put the same color in different areas of the painting. So this turquoise should be also somewhere here. In the shadows here, I need some brownish color, very light. This is more red, I think. You know, I'm colorblind, guys, so don't trust me about colors. I used to have brown. Okay, then I'm gonna use this. Oh, it's gonna dry and make some blooms that I don't want. It's getting a mess now with all these insects. It's not the best plein air session. Here, I want to keep some texture of the paper. This is, um, by the way, hot press, so you won't see a lot of texture over this. Oh, a butterfly came so to say hello. So I think I need to dry this. This is before drying. Bad blooms over here. I will try to mask them with a second layer. And now I just need to wait it to dry. I will feed the mosquitoes in the meantime. 
small recommendation is to put your brush pen or your travel brush back in the with a cup before they dry so in this way you have this tip and they are not gonna reopen due to the cap so this is the first layer after drying in this area the last one is not dried yet but it's seven already so i'm gonna start painting the second layer because it's late here i'm gonna use this next So I have prepared here two different greens, one for the bottom part for the, let's say, more shadowy leaves and I'm gonna alternate back and forth with a lighter one, this would create a bit of variation in this area and I mix this with a bit of this red to make uh, even more muted. The paper is quite damp, I can feel it, and it's a kind of risk here to paint like this. I can easily make a mess somewhere. I kind of like how it's coming out. There are many visitors. Uh, coming and I'm not talking about people actually I'm talking about every kind of possible insects in the world uh, I think it's part of the game right hopefully tomorrow I'm not gonna waking up uh, with uh, plenty of bubbles everywhere I think this part is detailed enough for now we will try to put some highlights on this branch that is as I said, a bit in foreground compared to the rest. I'm too lazy to change with a smaller brush, to be honest. So I keep going with this. Every kind of insect, even spiders are here. It's interesting to change, try to change between a two or three colors every now and then to make everything uh, more interesting. In watercolor it's so nice because they merge into each other naturally. I want to try to put some highlight on a branch that is in the foreground. This should drive the attention of the viewer. Light branches in the woods. Due to the first layer with this uh, brown reddish uh, background, it's gonna be automatically darker than the grass that is nearer to the path. Okay, guys, what color is my bike? I have no clue. It's something like turquoise, blue. Maybe this color here, like petrol, I have no clue, but I used the turquoise green, it's a color that I already used, so it would be for sure a good uh, choice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What time is it? 7.25 It's getting dark It's getting fucking dark Pedals and the tires and all these darker parts uh, I mixed the same red as before It's very blacky red with uh, turquoise I'm trying as much as possible to recycle the same palette
so I want these tires to merge into the grass right now I don't want to work on the grass I want to keep work on the, the bike most likely I will just dissolve this part yeah so it's actually getting later than expected that's why I just want to finish I will add some uh, details here with the uh, grass but first I want to make the shadows on the ground that's very important for the um, to understand where the light is coming to make uh, bigger washes coming nearer try to make some dry brush strokes even on this hot press paper more saturation in this leaves in the very front mosquitoes um, why God invented mosquitoes answer to this question in the comment please I take the chance to inform you that I create oh somebody's coming first person I take the chance to inform you that I activate the YouTube membership plan so if you want to support the channel now you have one more way uh, beyond the usual like and comment so have a look if you want so it's getting kind of boring here I need to change color soon let's try with something more bright and make some fine details but I'm too distracted by all these insects to be honest to make such an operation let's try some more darks here I want to add uh, a bit of darker color here so in order to make everything more cohesive let's see if it works or I mess up everything So I'm partially reactivating the pigment here because it wasn't dried totally but it's okay it's part of the effect let's say like that so I guess I can call this one done eaten alive but with a nice painting exercise in my hands it was a useful late afternoon it's 7 48 so overall I think it was um, more than two hours yeah considering everything the painting session the painting session was maybe uh, one hour I hope you like this video if so please subscribe the channel and I suggest you to watch this one as the next one. And I see you in the next video. Bye.